Recently, I made a video about how it was possible to listen to mobile phones on a normal radio scanner back in the mid-1990s, and another topic that came out of the comments section was listening to analogue cordless phones. Analogue cordless phones allowed eavesdroppers to hear your private conversations and became sort of a booking device within the home. More worryingly, analogue baby monitors, which are no more than a transmitter and receiver in constant transmit, can also be monitored on conventional radio scanners and are far more common than analogue phones. Nowadays, cordless telephones operate on DECT, which we'll cover later on in the video, but until the mid-2000s, there were still larger quantities of analogue cordless phones in people's homes that were totally unsecure and could be listened to on a radio scanner. Today, these really are a dying breed, and it's not often that you come across these phones, but I thought I'd show you a couple of models in this video and also show you these phones on an SDR and actually do a couple of radio tests. There has been quite a few sets of frequencies allocated to cordless phones over the years across a couple of different standards. Not all were legal, but all of them were analogue and listenable. There was CT1, which was established in 1984, and this was the most popular mode and is still around today if you're lucky enough to hear one. They operated on split frequencies with the base stations between 31.0 and 31.2 MHz and the handsets between 39.9 and 40.1 MHz across eight channels. There was also a set of DTI approved cordless phone channels which was established sometime in the late 1980s to early 1990s. They operated on split frequency with the base stations way down on 1.6 to 1.7 MHz and the handsets on 47.4 to 47.5 MHz across eight channels. There were other legal allocations over the years, such as extended range cordless phones with the handsets on 47.4 MHz and the base stations on 77.5 MHz across two channels. Now, during the early 1990s, there were some US spec cordless phones which made their way to the UK and became quite popular. The base stations were between 46.6 and 46.9 MHz and the handsets operated between 49.6 and 49.9. There was an allocation of CT1 cordless phone channels within the 900 MHz band which were withdrawn because they overlapped with GSM channels. These were used by Cybernet and Uniden cordless phones across 80 channels. The base stations operated on 959.0125 to 959.9875 and the handsets operated on 914.0 to 914.9 MHz. There were also some illegal cordless phones on the UK analogue police ambulance and fire frequencies. There were three known frequencies and it's believed that these phones came out of China. Now I've got a few models of analogue cordless phones and I pulled out a couple in order to show you them working on an SDR. Firstly I'll show you the base station transmission. You'll hear it page the handset first across three frequencies. Uh, the sounds of the buttons being pressed and then the phone being put down. I'll also show you the same on the handset frequency. Test on the handset on the binotone, one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. On the binotone, testing, testing, one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. On the binotone. Cordless phones migrated to digital standards such as DECT in the mid to late 1990s. There was an allocation between 864.1 and 868.1 for digital cordless phones which were used by retail stores, hospitals and workplaces in the UK. DECT stands for Digital Enhanced Cordless Telecommunications and operates between 1.8 and 1.9 GHz in the UK. As a technology, DECT has grown in popularity since its introduction in 1992. It can't be listened to on an ordinary radio scanner because it is digital, but it can be monitored. With the obscurity of the security suite behind DECT and the lack of readily available DECT sniffers, few attacks were published until the publication of the Detected.org project in late 2008. 
Supported by a community of volunteers, the Detected project was successful in reverse engineering commodity hardware and developing a Linux driver for eavesdropping on DECT networks. The hardware that was successfully reverse engineered for use in exploiting DECT networks by the Detected.org project is the DOSH and AMAND Common Air PCM CIA card in the Type 2 or Type 3 varieties. These are no longer made but do come up on online shops from time to time but are quite expensive due to the rarity and demand. So I hope you enjoyed this video on analog cordless phones. I just thought I'd show you some of the frequencies and some of the equipment that was used. It was quite interesting to see them on the SDR as well. Obviously you shouldn't be listening to cordless phone conversations and especially not baby monitors but this video is just for information purposes only. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments, suggestions or questions, drop them in the box below and I'll get back to you. And all that's left to say is 7-3. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.